What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and shout out to everyone you know. So we're doing a giveaway at 2k subscribers, um, tell your friends, everybody you know, to sub up. Once we hit 2k, I'm doing a giveaway, and the higher we climb up to subscriber goals, the greater the giveaway will be. So make sure you sub up, tell everyone you know, share it out, share the channel out, um, let's just get into the video. So shout out to Cosmic Wonder. I see we've got some Spider-Man No Way Home noobs. Now, I'm going to start off, you know, I'm not really a comic book person, but I like Marvel. I, you know, DC, they, they struggling right now. But I'm, I'm, I've been loving Marvel, so they doing it up. Shout out to Kevin Feige. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for, for these Phase 4 movies. Black Widow's getting ready to come out. <laughs> Cannot wait. And then we got Spider Man No Way Home and Mostly Verse of Madness. I, I think Eternals is lucky going to be a sleeper, but I've been hearing we're going to get it. We're going to get it, get it. Like uh, Spider Man, Spider Man No Way Home trailer soon. So let's see what this is about. Shout out to Cosmic Wonder. Y'all get sub up to him. What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and today we have some really really big Spider-Man No Way Home news specifically in regards to the trailer and when we can expect it. And as it turns out, it's not that far away. Sony has already begun to make some moves and those moves are telling us to get ready because the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer isn't that far away. There I like are also this. some pretty big leaks that I'm going to be talking about in this video concerning Mary Jane, Aunt May, and Gwen Stacy. And no, I am not talking about Zendaya's MJ or Marissa Tomei's Aunt May, but of course I'm talking about an MJ and an Aunt May from other universes. We have some leaked photos to go over and some other leaks as well but of course first we'll start off by talking about the spider-man no way home trailer and when to expect it and a reminder only 11 days left in my stormbreaker giveaway all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to cosmic culture link in the description down See? below so maybe i'll Sony do a giveaway like now this. begun to advertise spider-man no way home a little bit more on their social media platforms specifically the sony pictures in germany the official sony pictures germany youtube account has now changed their background banner to a banner of spider-man no way home which means they are now promoting the film they also changed their background on their official twitter account it now has the same banner that their youtube channel has a spider-man no way home banner this means that they're getting ready for a lot of promotional material to start to roll out for Spider-Man No Way Home, which means the trailer is coming soon. And it is about that time. Spider-Man No Way Home is going to come out on December 17th of this year, 2021. That means we're about six months away almost from the official release, which means that the trailer should wait. be coming in about a month or two. Now, there is a lot of speculation going around right now that they could perhaps release the trailer on Tom Holland's birthday, which like is that. June 1st. Now, this speculation is most likely due to the fact that Marvel Studios released the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings trailer on Sima Liu, the star of the film, Shang-Chi, his birthday. And yes, that is possible. It is possible for them to do that. But if they release it on June 1st, which is only about 12 days away, that's seven months. Right, I know you ain't trying to hit that. Shout out to Cousin Warner, you gotta pay bills. It's just how many bodies. My name is Alexis Linkletter. It's before the actual release date of Spider-Man No Way Home. Well, six and a half, which is about when they start to release teaser trailers for movies. So that is a possibility. However, I don't think Marvel and Sony are going to be getting into the habit of releasing trailers for new movies on their stars' birthdays. So I don't really want to get into the habit of expecting that. However, Tom Holland is kind of a jokester right now and kind of Marvel and Sony are too. Remember how Tom Holland, Jacob Batalon, and Zendaya all teased us with different title reveals at first? Then not to mention, Later on that night, Tom Holland went on the Jimmy Fallon show and literally played a game called Spoilers with him. It was a game where they revealed spoilers about movies and they still didn't drop the title. However, they did the very next day. So the trailer could come on his birthday or they could tease us in another way. But if they do that, that definitely means that the trailer is right around the corner. Regardless of what happens, I do believe that this trailer is going to be coming in June or July. That's just the time frame that Marvel Studios 
Studios usually goes by, and in this case, Sony. Release a teaser trailer about six months before the actual film comes out. Then about a month and a half, two months later, release an official full length trailer where we learn more about the plot. And then in true Marvel fashion, they're going to give us probably about 20 different TV spots for Spider-Man No Way Home, including some special clips that show actual scenes from the movie. Now, a lot of people have been asking me if we're going to see any sort of evidence for a Spider-Verse film in the teaser trailer. Probably and I not. I don't think we're going to be getting anything during the teaser trailer. I'm very Probably hesitant not. to say that we'll even get something in the official trailer. However, I think it would be a very, very brilliant decision by Sony and Marvel and their marketing teams to show multiple Spider-Man in the official trailer because that will drive people to go see the movie. And it could make this film the biggest movie of all time. It will definitely be one of the biggest movies if the Spider-Verse truly is a big part of the film. But if they show Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire all together in Spider-Man suits, or even not in Spider-Man suits, just all standing together, in the official teaser trailer, this movie is going to just blow all of the records out of the water. And luckily, we don't have to wait that much longer to see. Hopefully, the teaser trailer comes next month. If not, it's definitely going to be coming in July. Sony's YouTube channel for Germany and their Twitter page for Germany has made the change. That is definitely in preparation for promotions coming for That's the film, big. and I bet other countries' pages are going to do the same pretty soon. Now, as I mentioned, we have some other pretty big leaks today for No Way Home. Leaks that supposedly confirm the multiverse Spider-Verse is happening. Obviously, this has not been officially confirmed, but man, there is a ton of evidence for this. If there's not a Spider-Verse film, I'm going to be really shocked. So this leak is actually very interesting and it's coming from IMDb and I know what you're thinking and I don't normally do videos relating to IMDb, but just stay with me for a second and hear me out. On IMDb for Spider-Man No Way Home, under the Costume and Wardrobe Department cast member list, it lists Askia Wongling Jacob. What does it list for her role for the film? Personal costumer for Miss Dunst. Now, I'm not so sure about y'all, but I'm not really aware of another Miss Dunst, at least any worth noting in a Spider-Man film that is not Kristen Dunst. There's definitely not another Miss Dunst that would need a costumer. Now, I know sometimes the cast lists for IMDb aren't that reliable, but this one isn't just coming out and saying Kristen Dunst is in the film as MJ. This is something very, very subtle, and there is more evidence to back this up. Try to call me one. Why don't you ever sing strange fruit? You gotta pay the bills. Y'all sub up to him. What things are going on in the country? On Askia Wongling Jacobs' profile, her own personal profile for her work, it now lists this. Personal costumer, Miss Dunst, post-production 2021. Notice how it doesn't list the movie. That's rather odd because normally they would just list the film that they were working on. That's the only suspicious. Reason that they wouldn't list the movie they were working on is because they actually couldn't because it's supposed to be a secret, which is what looks like is happening here. And it is worth noting that Kirsten Dunst is doing another film in 2021, which she is fully credited for, but the costume and wardrobe department does not list Askia Wongling Jacob. And it does list other costumers, so she would definitely be on there if it was for that film, which means that it's most likely for Spider-Man No Way Home. And this does seemingly confirm that Kirsten Dunst is going to be returning as Mary Jane in Spider-Man No Way Home, giving us further proof of the Spider-Verse and further proof that Tobey Maguire is going to be returning as well. Alfred Molina is already going to be returning. The Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, is supposedly going to be the main villain. And now it looks like we have pretty solid evidence that Kirsten Dunst is going to be returning as well, so it would be just just a total and complete shock if Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man didn't show up in the film. Almost everybody else from his universe is. Heck, even throw in James Franco. I don't care. Bring him back. Everybody else is coming. Why not? And speaking of everybody else, one person who is apparently not going to be coming back yeah, is she's Emma Stone's Emma Stone. Gwen Stacy. According to Daniel Richmond, it doesn't seem like she is going to be coming back.
back and this is due to her being pregnant. I know this is a character that a lot of people would have liked to see, especially if she came back as some sort of different alternate reality version and she was Spider Gwen. However, it doesn't seem like she's coming back unfortunately, but somebody who does appear to be coming back from that universe is Aunt May. We were teased a long time ago by Atlanta filming who took a picture of a person on set wearing a coat over them so we couldn't see who they were with Atlanta filming stating that this was somebody familiar. Well, we now have a better look at that person and it appears to be Sally Field, Aunt May from the Amazing Spider-Man universe. And this was taken from the set of Spider-Man No Way Home. So again, if this person really is her and it really does look like it's her, that's just another thing pointing towards the confirmation of yeah, the Spider-Verse. I mean, really, if this is truly a Spider-Verse film, which I truly believe it is, they're doing a horrible mm -hmm. job at keeping it a secret. The worst kept secret in Hollywood by far. But again, it hasn't been confirmed by Marvel Studios or Sony yet. But it sure does seem like it's all but confirmed. However, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all things relating to Spider-Man No Way Home. Let me know how excited you are for the trailer in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, woof, thank woof. you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Shout out to Cosmic Runner, man. Y'all sub, so y'all sub up to him. I'm excited. I'm excited for the multiverse. I'm excited for the Spider Verse. Y'all leave a like for the multiverse. Um, I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped for this phase four. Um, things about to get crazy. Um, I guess I mean they could probably save Emma Stone, like maybe for another Spider Verse movie. Um, especially if it includes Miles Morales, um, things can get pretty dope. So I'm excited. I'm really, I really am. I'm excited for Black Widow. I don't know, Shang-Chi. I, I don't know. I don't know about that movie. But Eternals, I think that's going to be a sleeper. Um, you got No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness. 2022 has been going to be crazy. Um. I just can't wait. I can't wait, guys. I cannot wait. Leave a like for Marvel. Leave a like. Leave a like. So I'm excited. Um, you guys let me know if you like these reactions to Cosmic Wonder. Y'all make sure you sub up to him. I'm excited for these news. I'm excited for this news. Y'all stay on the lookout for uh, No Way Home trailer, I guess, in June. So... That's it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and share that to me. You know, do not forget at 2K subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. The more we climb up, the greater the giveaway. So, appreciate you guys for watching.